So let's get to unboxing. All right, let's get to unboxing. This thing has been waiting to be unboxed by me for a long, long time. All right now, I can't tell right if this has already been opened or not because you know it's just the way it is here. Uh, but like as you can see, look at that. There's a diorama. I can't remember what I paid for it. I would have to look back along, you know, in my um, in my bank accounts and stuff, whatever. Um, and but, like I said before, right? And with this one, here, whoops, it, with this one here, you've got this really cool, you know, um, I guess this uh, tray. Um, Black Widow, it's, it's, you know, I, I was thinking like I, if I could re, you know, take it off and then I could put that on my computer, you know, like um, the box, you know, the PC box there and have that on it because that looks pretty cool. So I'll try that later and maybe try some like a heat thing, you know, with a heat gun. Uh, so let's see how we can put this on and and try not I'll try not to lose this little uh, Ant Man, right? So let's start with the back. And yeah, you know, like I, I love these ties, right? I do love these ties. By that I mean these things here, right? I love these ties because I get to use them over and over again to tie up, you know, freezer bags and so on. And you know, it's just you know, it's not wasted right and and here's the thing guys if you get these i don't know you probably don't want them and stuff and throw them away you can't put them to a lot of great use right and so don't just throw it into rubbish and get a dump and just you know metal and plastic and that takes forever to degrade i'm sure the metal would take the rust and all that but like the plastic is there for a long time so look at that all right 15 centimeter by the looks of it piece of um, wire that you can you know tie up stuff and it's not wasted it's things are only wasted if you don't have an imagination on how to use them so i like i like to recycle as much as i can right and so that is there now so this comes with three ties two on the legs one each and then one around the chest right i mean the abdomen this is a classic uh, figure, by the way. You know, the look of her, because she's now kind of like, the, she's got the black, this is a purple. Uh, and I think she looks cool in purple as well. But I mean, it'll be, you know, it's kind of like a silver purple. It's very interesting. Ow. I, a, I broke my nail a while back and it just doesn't come right because it splits down the middle all the time now because that's where the weak spot is. Uh, and sadly, you know, every now and then it likes to break more when I'm trying to use it. So it's just, and it's your you know, right hand thumb. So this one's like a bit more smaller, right? It's less than half the size, of course. I actually does half the size, so it's seven and a half centimeters. Um, let's get that out there. And I'm gonna use my left thing, left fingers. The ten fingers because the right thumb is a bit weak on the nails there. And I don't want to split the nail. I think I might have to start wearing something to like strengthen, like like a bandage or something over to protect it so it doesn't split all the time. Now let me get rid of that. So so here here is a figure, right? So. For a minute there, I thought the leg was a bit small on one side. No, it's just the way it's set up. All right, so the width, I'm, I'm trying to figure out how this is supposed to sit on here now. As you can see, there is no, yeah, that's weird. So there is no little holes in here, like, like pegs, I should say, not pegs, not holes, pegs, right? So there's no pegs there. Um, and this kind of looks like an Iron Man 
um, figure, but there's no pegs in here, dude, because she's got pegs on her legs, right? So I guess in a sense they say like, well, you can use anything, right? You can use this for any diorama, right? So you could put actually Iron Man up here, right? And he'll be fine. But the problem here is there's no area to actually stand the character flat. Oh, well, enough to like make a stand on, right? So as you can see, right? So there's nothing kind of like it's going to allow me to like showcase it being able to stand there unless I somehow, you know, I think the only way I could do it is if I glue it in place, right? And try to, you know, try to set it up in a way that will, you know, yeah, it's, it's not, it's, it's all bandy and stuff and it's not going to stand. But I wish, I wish they had put a peg in this, but now that I got to drill a hole and create a peg. So, you know, so I can have her here or have her kind of like somehow standing in a way that's actually showcases her in the situation going, why Tony, why, why? Um, so let's have a look at the figure itself because the diorama is really good right this is like a, this looks like it's a silicon uh, maybe it's uh, it might actually be where um it's done in parts like the legs are done in parts so then it, and it's glued on right and to whatever is there because um it doesn't feel like it's like yeah because if, if it's a loose silicon, um, you know, kind of like this, because I've seen how they, they do these figures. If it's a silicon uh, cast, because it's got a lot of details, right? Especially for this. It's got a lot of freaking details. If you look at it, it's amazing details, right? So, the, um, yeah, so all these parts, like this building part back drop here, the wall there, uh, you know, cinder block, whatever it is, it's really well done you know but the thing is it's it is like there's a base plate one two three four five six five yeah five other special pieces here are actually attached to it glued to it right so which is why you know what i'm saying like it's made for you know you could use that for anything but it's hard to yeah it's hard to have the figure stand on it Man. It's a bit wobbly, but it's there. Um, let me see if I can find a high enough. Um, oh, one of the other things, because, you know, we're doing a lot, you know, doing more videos and all this stuff. I, I decided to invest on a, you know, have you seen, you know, you guys have probably seen that where there is these, um, see, that's not even high enough. Gosh. Um, let me see if I can bring that up and that'll help it go a bit higher. Uh, where there's like a rotating, um, you know, rotating figure. I mean, no, sorry, a rotating uh, circle thing, a mound platform, I should say, rotating platform, that's the name of it, that uh, 360, right? So it rotates around and you get to, you know, see it all around it. So I'm getting one of those for you guys. Um, so we can, you know, we can have, take really cool videos off those and showcase them yeah, all around it. And I'm going to actually, you know, go a bit further and actually make a bit of a, or not make one or find a box, like a plastic clear box or something that I can have here and it's high enough. So you guys can. There you go. It was way out of focus. I don't know why that happened. But like, um, you know, so you guys can see these really, uh, really cool figures and great detail. And of course, you know, these are pins. All right. Uh, so these go back maybe, you know, early on. I should check what year this came out. In. Excuse me. Um, 2011. All right. So it's 12 years old. So, oh, I almost forgot <laughs> that little ant man. He's so tiny, right? So, the thing here is like, so not to lose little tiny ant man, I'm going to have to like solid tap him, take the solid tap of him here, and then solid tap him back onto, oh gosh, 
sellotape them back onto the back wall of this figure so I don't lose them because it's very easy to lose something like this small, right? Because like seriously, look at how small he is. Right, size of my thumb. Seriously, here's the size of my friggin' thumb, right? Like the first knuckle, or whatever, you know. <laughs> And he's gone. He's fallen off. Please don't get squashed. All right. Uh, fell on the other side of the table. So you can see it's very, very friggin' tiny. Let's see the details on this thing. Um, you know, they haven't, I mean, I was going to say they haven't put much details, but how much details can you put on something that's small? Right? There you go. Okay, so like I said, I'm going to put this on the back wall here. All right, so it's there for, you know, and it's not going to get lost. So I know he's there. All right, so I know he's there, and I don't lose him and move in and stuff. And it might actually, in time, I'll find some good glue and actually glue him there right because he looks really cool you know he looks really cool there like that and um you know or maybe you know i might put him on natasha's wall <laughs> i mean shoulder wall on natasha's shoulder right that'd be pretty cool and she can you know the two two of them can hang out now the next one here right let's open another one what should we go left and right? So let's go female, male, then female, then male. Right. Of course, the best way to do to to showcase Natasha is of course with Hawkeye. You know, I kind of feel like they they should have. I mean, oh no, actually, no, no, no. This is wrong. I shouldn't do that. I should not ship. Shipping is, you know, not cool. 